James Collins because he's got an obsession with shaving his whole body, as in his head, obviously. And yeah. um, once uh, he packs about 10 different razors, um, <laughs> clippers. Yeah. Um, uh, so yeah, I'd say ginge, to be honest. Um, I don't really take notice of what people pack, if I'm honest, because you don't really see it, but I think it'd, it'd probably be ginge. So he shaves every away game, he'll shave his whole no, body? No, he's, he's got, he, he's like, OCD with clipper in his head right. and, and, and obviously he's just had a beard trim. And yeah. So yeah, he's um, he's good like that, Ginger. Do you ever help him out? That sometimes shame. on the back of his head yeah. and he can't get to the awkward spot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he loves that. Yeah, he loves it, yeah. <laughs> I had an answer for this before I come in here and then I see your jumper. <laughs> I knew he, he's killed me already. What's wrong with the jumper? It's brutal, mate. Why are you not having it? I don't know, nah, not at all. I can't. I, I don't even know why you get up in the morning and put that colour on. <laughs> I haven't worn this in a while. The reason I wore this, my mum got me this. She says it brings out my eyes. Is that what she said? Yeah, she did. You're not having it, okay? Uh, apart from me, apart then. Apart from you, I'd say <laughs> there's some. There's actually some terrible dresses in our change room, but I'm gonna say um, Adrian. Yeah. Yeah, it's not one of them like you like you don't wear jumpers like that, but you know, like nothing is well fitted or um, it goes really with right. each other, it's just chucked on, do you know what I mean? No no love in his clothes. So, so at least at least this is well fitted then. I, I honestly don't know why you're wearing it. Robert Snodgrass. Yeah? Yeah, he's uh, incredible. Like on the phone he's so funny. Um, some yeah he's brilliant. We he he, he pranked my mate my mate is a goalkeeper and he's, he's terrible to be honest, but he thinks he's really good and uh, he rang him up as a non-league non manager um, and offered him like £1,500 a week. Wow. And, yeah, I know, obviously you're never going to get that in non-league, but he's uh, he jumped in like, and the, 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 <laughs> he's, the way he speaks is, um, is brilliant. That's a brutal prank, isn't it? Especially if you think you're really good in goal, you know what I mean? You take yourself seriously as my mate does. And, he, uh, he, yeah, yeah he, he fancied it. It was up in like Ipswich somewhere. We, <laughs> we, we made Felix though, I think, somewhere like that. <laughs> we made up and he was, he was willing to drive up there. <laughs> Angelo Bonner. What for? He's just like so laid back, mate. Do you know what I mean? He just, he's never ever in a rush. If we've got to be in the training ground at 10.30, he'll walk in at, 10, 29, 59, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Or like the other day, he, he, we had a couple of days off in international break and he was flying from Gatwick to Italy and his flight was at half two yeah. and he was still here at like quarter to one. Did he make it? He, uh, somehow he made it, I don't <laughs> yeah. know how he made it, but like, I was panicking for him saying you've got to leave <laughs> and he's like just creaming himself. And, um, but yeah, he picks up the most fine. Do you think he's bothered that he picks it? It sounds like he's not bothered that he, he gets fine. I, I just think it's the way, I, sometimes I look at him, I think I'd love to be like him, you know, where yeah. you've just not got a care in the world. Um, but I'm in the room looking at the time thinking, oh, I've got to be down at half one. I'll, I'll go down at quarter past one, just so I'm not late. But he just, just hasn't got a care in the world. And I, it's not in a, in a disrespectful way, it's, yeah. just, it's just the way it is. Everyone's different, isn't they? I'm gonna say either uh, Ginge or Big AC. We just had a training session out there, and some of the obviously the ball gets swung in, and some of the challenges they both go for is incredible. Um, and obviously, you, you sort of don't really want to be on the receiving end because they're so, yeah. especially Andy, so big and strong and um, clumsy at times. And if you hit shot, it really hurts. You know what I mean? And, Definitely, you won't want to fight any of them, would you, really? No, I mean, definitely not. No, exactly, <laughs> so uh, definitely one of them two, yeah. Does Andy Carroll train as he does in matches? Is he that intense, even on a training game? That, that is one of the big things with Andy, which people have got to realise, and I know obviously he gets a lot of stick for not being as as fit as, but when he's out there, he, he, he trains like he plays, and yeah. obviously he puts his body on the line for the, for the team, and, um, when you're that big and that heavy, when sometimes the, some of the balls he goes for and that, and he, he lands, it, it's, it's a lot of weight, you know. And he, um, 
but that's just the way it is. Uh, Manu Lanzini. Comfortably? You said that very quickly. Yeah, just I just love the way he plays, Manu. He's one of them players that you can you can watch, you know, and admire the way he moves with the ball and um, the way he glides past players. He's a really good footballer. I'd say Deck. Deck, Deck and Rice. Deck and Rice, yeah. yeah. Just constantly just looking at his phone. And you're, you're the skipper, would you say to him? Yeah, no, I just think much? he's really, really in love with his girlfriend. And, you know what I mean? He's <laughs> there's always, nothing wrong with that, is there? No, there's nothing wrong with that. He's always tip. But when you, I've been with mine, <laughs> I've been with mine for 15, 16 years, so <laughs> you don't really text 25 times a day anymore. But <laughs> oh, he, you uh, killed him here. Yeah, I know. Yeah, he's he's a good, great lad, Deck. But so, he loves looking at his phone. He's not always on the phone, to but obviously <laughs> he's checking Instagram and all, I don't know whether he's on Twitter and all that stuff. But yeah. I'd say uh, Eddie Fernandez. Not so much selfies, but he's uh, he's always putting videos of himself and um, dancing and in the car listening to music and uh, all that stuff. He's a uh, he's a good lad, Eddie. He's quiet, but he's, yeah. he's secretly funny. Manu, Lanzini again. Yeah, yeah, by a mile. He's a uh, you know, like we're not really, I say English players, we're not really, apart from Deli Ali, who's unbelievable at it, but we're not really uh, brought up to like nutmeg players, or we see it as a sign of disrespect. Whereas a lot of foreign players, especially the Argentinian players that I've come across, do it as a skill. You know, yeah. like they're, in, they're, they're tight and then um, roll it through people's legs and somehow get out of it. And man who's a uh, very good at it. If you get nutmeg in training, I'm not saying you do often, but if Manu nutmegs you, how do you react? Is that something you go fair play or do you, do you get the hump a little bit? Uh, do you know what? I used to take it really personal <laughs> and like used to really want to kick players and <laughs> as you sort of get older, you sort of appreciate how good it is <laughs> yeah, really. Yeah, yeah. And doing it like, you know, I've done it. It comes to my head to do it, but I don't ever get it the other side. I don't mind passing it through someone's yeah. legs if I'm stuck. Not picking it up. No, no, yeah. I would never. I don't really think, I've done crest once. That's my, uh, I've done Cress in training once. Yeah. I've done a, I don't know where it come from. I've done a little <laughs> step over and then put it through his legs. But it weren't clean, it just hit the inside of his ankle and then I, but I run around and got it the other side. Yeah. Um, Are you still counting that? If it, if it, yeah, 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 I still count, only because it's Cress. But yeah. but Manu does it, yeah, with his studs and rolls it through. Um, sometimes it's, it's really nice to watch. Okay, who's the kit man's worst nightmare? Is there one Angelo player? Ogbonna. Straight away? Yeah. Why? I'm pretty sure if you brought the kit man in, he'd say that as well. <laughs> you just, answered that so quickly. Yeah, just because you always hear Angelo screaming, J-Mo, who's our kit man. Yeah. Uh, J-Mo, J-Mo, and you hear want like a, another pair of socks, or the socks ain't quite new enough, or do you know what I mean? Something <laughs> the like socks that. ain't new enough. Yeah. yeah. Wow, that is, that's quite devious, isn't it? Maybe, yeah, but he's a, uh, yeah, he's always, you always hear him shouting J-Mo, or something's gone missing, or, um, so Angelo, yeah. Jose Font, he's good with his music, Fonty. Yeah. Hart is quite good with his music. Um, Adrian, Adrian tends to put on a lot of Spanish stuff. Okay. Um, we've got quite a big Spanish contingent, really, so I yeah. quite like that. But um, I'd say, I'm going to say Fonty. He's pretty good with his music. What's me. his? What's he play? Just a bit of everything, you know, just to yeah. please everyone, sort of thing. I've, I ain't really. I like listening to music, but I've got no, I've got no really passion for it. So, um, I've, I've probably got about twenty songs on my phone. Twenty? Yeah. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. I don't really. What, why have you only got twenty songs? No, I don't listen to it at all, really. What song? What songs have you got? You got twenty like songs. You, but it'd be like Adele, "All I Ask." Yeah. Okay. Um, It'd be Whitney Houston. Whitney Houston? Yeah. It'd be wow. um, Michael Jackson. Okay. Quite a romantic vibe here, going yeah. on. Yeah, I'm quite a romantic person. Okay, yeah. nothing wrong with that. <laughs> <laughs> so, on a match day, would there be a, would there be a go-to song that you'd, you'd listen to in the change room or you just mix it up? No, it's normally mix up. We had one a few years ago when we, when, when we got promoted from the championship. Um, uh, Rihanna, we found love in a hopeless place. Is that, is yeah, that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
and we, we used to play that. It, remind, it really reminds me of Joey O'Brien, who used to play it, and every time, obviously he's not in the club no yeah. more, but if, if, if he's out, uh, wherever he is in the world, if he's out and Nick comes on, he'll leave me a voicemail at quarter two or three in the morning. Quality. Every time he comes on? Every time it comes That's on, quality. yeah. Do you want to give us a little rendition of that? No. no. <laughs> I'm going to say Pedro Obiang. Okay. I don't know whether it's an absolute total bluff because he wears the glasses and <laughs> he brings in a book, but he he does read more than anyone else. So, so. you're just going on the fact that he wears glasses and reads yeah, books? Yeah, sometimes... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, because no one, I've never seen anyone else really, really read books and Pedro, <laughs> Pedro, okay. Pedro wears glasses, looks like smart and clever and reads books. So. Okay, it's a good reason. So no one else reads any books at West Ham? Mm, not re I've never, I've not really seen it. No. no. I'm, I'm going to say Masuaku, Arthur. He, I'm, I'm not saying he has it. Cut, but he has the most different styles, you right. know, like some mad mighty colours in his hair and <laughs> um, different like wavy things and then trims. And, yeah. Um, but obviously he's got the hair to do that because it grows back pretty quick. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if it was me, it's, I have to wait six months for it to grow back. <laughs> <laughs> How often do you get your hair cut? <laughs> Once every six months. Once every six months? <laughs> no, I'm joking. That's unbelievable. Yeah, well, I ain't got too much of it, have I? So you don't really want to cut it off. You've got a nice safe, like a bit like mine, it's safety haircut, isn't it? Yeah, safe. Yeah. Yeah, I can't do anything else. Yon's not really safe. Yon's like really oh, slick. Yeah, he's, he's having me jump on me hair. What's wrong with me hair? But you've really had a go on that, haven't you? I, I like a bit of wax in me hair. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't think it's a bad thing. Do you think it's too much wax? No, it's like really like... It's only a little bit. It's a bit of VO5 there and then a little bit of matte at the back. Yeah. Yeah. But you, it's a, it's a 20 minute thing, isn't it? No, 10, 15. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Mark, top man, mate. Uh, what have they got to do now? Uh, like the video and subscribe to Soccer M's YouTube videos. Channel. Does that work? That's fine, we can cut before that. Sure? Yes, yeah, sweet, good man. That's why I like you. <laughs> top See? man.